Hello, my name is Trevor Browning from the Royal School of Artillery Training Innovation Centre and I'm a media course content developer. Today I want to talk to you about producing video content for your training courses and what this does is it allows us to produce a flipped classroom scenario which ties in very well to the Royal School of Artillery's blended learning environment. The task involves you producing your own PowerPoint as normal, Word documents that contain a script or contain quiz elements, and you will need to use Adobe Video Creator to produce your training video. These are the resources that you will need. A standard desktop computer with webcam. An i3 processor is recommended as a minimum standard. The software, as we've just seen, uh, PowerPoint, Word, and Adobe Video Creator loaded onto your system and easily accessible, preferably through your taskbar. On the right-hand side of this slide, you can see there's a breakdown of supporting media that has been created by the Training Innovation Center to guide you through this process to help you put together your instructional video and use the editing software. So first of all I mentioned a flipped classroom. Well what is a flipped classroom? A flipped classroom is essentially where traditionally in the classroom you would have had your theory based lesson delivered using textbooks and explanation through um, PowerPoint uh, delivered by an instructor. So we're talking here about knowledge acquisition. In today's digital world, what we do is we try to save space and time by actually publishing that and making that readily available to the student via other means. So to do that, what we do is we produce videos and then we turn the scenario around. So now instead of doing your practice of the theory at home as a homework, what you do is you do that practical application of your theory in the classroom with the instructor present helping collaborating and facilitating your learning so my message here really is to use these new technologies and the blended learning environment to stop lecturing in the classroom and to actually start facilitating and creating those closer working relationships allowing the students to do all their theory through other means outside of the classroom. We can see here how such a scenario of video creation and delivery fits quite nicely into the DSAT process. On the left we have the DSAT process and all the cycles and production where the instructor has received his training objectives, he starts to develop his media content and he will actually produce video recording. Now clearly we're not going to just publish this and release, there has to be some validation of the content and so we go through a quality control process where the uh, video that's been created is independently reviewed for content, probably by a training development team and then an organisation such as TIC make sure that things are being displayed in the best possible way. Thing would be published to um, a learning management system or it can be used on a local network made available to the students so they can access it in their own time uh, or when is appropriate for them. What is important here is that the classroom instructor is still the greatest asset to the student. It is they that decides the content, it is they that actually give the delivery even though it's in video format, it is them that is guiding the student through the course and ensuring that they are up to standard and learning to the best of their ability and fulfilling the training objectives and the criteria that has been set in organising and preparing the lesson and also that they are able to apply what they have learnt into the real world. <laughs>